Welcome to Excel name trick number three. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Excel name series one to 12. Hey, in this trick number three, we're going to see how to use names in formulas and functions and how to update names. Now we have some time for oil chains and I want to calculate average. I'm going to name this range. I'm going to click up in the name box, boop, and I'm going to call this T-O-C, time oil change. Enter. Don't forget to hit enter when you have a name. And then I'm going to click right here. And even before I do my function right there, I'm going to click up here. Here I'm naming a cell. Here I've named a range. But I'm going to name this cell right here, B21, A-V-E for average. Because I'm going to use that cell over here when I calculate standard deviation. All right, I'm going to click right here, equals A-V-E. Average, that's the average function. Now, I already forgot what the name is. Now, if the name, if you forgot the name and the range is in sight, you can simply highlight it and look at that. It puts it in. But watch this. What if the range is not within reach of your cursor? Hit the F3. F3 is paste name. And then I'm going to select my, scroll down. Actually, you can just hit the T, and it will jump down to uh, T, the first T. And then you can use your down arrow or up arrow through your paste name. I got my TOC that I'm going to click OK and Control Enter. There it is, 23.2. You can see the formula up there. Or if I hit F2, 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 you can see average TOC. And always, you, if your range is in sight, you could see that nice little blue highlighter there indicating that it got the right range. Now I'm going to hit Enter. Now what we want to see here is how to update. Let's say we get some more oil values and we want to add. I'm going to show you two ways. One way, and the name will automatically update if you do this, if you right click a row header like 14 and right click Insert, instantly, we can't see it, but the name is updated. So when I type uh, 45 here, when I hit enter, watch how it updates here. Now, let's go look and see in our list of names. In 2003, it's called Define Name. In 2007, it's called Name Manager. The keyboard shortcut is Control F3. Control F3. And then I'm going to click right there, and you can see B10 to B20. No way, it totally updated. Now, I'm going to close this. We'll come back to that in a moment. Now, what if you added a value right here. And I'm going to actually highlight this and click and drag it down. That's one way to move. Now, what if I just wanted to add a value here? 12, Enter. Uh-oh, ding, ding, ding. It did not update. Let me show you how to edit it, because sometimes you can't insert in the middle and you want to add something at the bottom. Later in, in this series of tricks, I'll show you a way to automatically do this. But right now, we just want to see how to edit it. Control F3 gives us our name manager. In 2003, it says define names. And in 2003, you just click on the name, TOC. And then you can edit it down here in 2003. For us, in 2007, we got to click Edit. And then you can very carefully edit this down here. And I'm going to change that to 1. And then I'm going to click on that just to, well, actually, I don't need to click on that. I'm going to click OK. One way to check is to click this little button right here. Boop. And you could see that it actually, the dancing ants start jumping around telling you that that's the right range. I'm going to uncollapse this. I'm going to click uh, close there. And then I'm going to click here and hit F2. No way. You could see now in a different way that it actually, the blue box and the TOC is looking at the right number of cells. So that's two ways to edit a name once you've done it. Now watch this. What we want to do is calculate deviations. That's um, the how far each one of these values are from the um, the actual the average. Now first I want to highlight here because I've inserted a row. I want to point to the fill handle and I'm going to use the fill handle and copy just to fo copy format down because I need to extend that box. Again, we're going to do uh, deviations here. I'm going to click highlight this first cell right here. And here's the formula, equals one, two cells to my left, minus, now I already forgot the name, so I'm going to use um, F3 key. 
and I'm going to double click my AVE. There it is. So instead of having to lock that cell reference, by default, names are absolute cell references. Control Enter. When I point to the fill handle and click and drag this down here and click in the last cell and hit F2, you could see that it got the right one. That one's green, that one's green. So we calculated the deviation, which is how far away is this value from the average. And you can see here this, this value, 35, is 10.91 above the average. This one is minus 8, which means 8 minutes below the average. Now look at that. That is by default locked and absolute. In a later um, Excel name trick, we'll see how to not you um, create a name that's not absolute. Now I got to show you another weird use for a name. Highlight the whole range here. Now this range right here, if we highlight, it, is named TOC. If you highlight the same some cells in the same row as a name. For instance, we want all of these cells to be looking there. If this is named TOC, you can just type in TOC equals TOC minus AVE. Actually, I'm going to click Escape. I'll do it um, Escape. I'll just click on the top one to illustrate this totally bizarre trick here. And then we'll copy down. Equals TOC. Notice it's blue here, and the whole thing is blue. But watch, because in it's just in one cell, it'll be just looking at that 19 minus AVE. Now, the AVE is one cell, so it'll automatically know that. Control Enter. No way. It got the right thing. And then I'm going to click and drag. No way. And then I'm going to double click this last cell or hit F2. And sure enough, look at that whole box there is blue. And that one's green, so it's looking the right things. But because it's a whole range and we've used that name and it's the same size, it's looking at the individual values. Here's another totally bizarre trick. If you're in the same cell and you type equals TOC, it'll just pick up the value from uh, that right here. But watch this. If you're down here and you type equals TOC, it goes, what? I don't get what you're talking about. All right, that's a little bit about names and how to use them in uh, a formula that way and that way, and also how to edit them. All right, we'll see you next name trick.